Is this the perfect iPad stand? Tony here, we talk art and design tech, instead of subscribing. The O-Stand case from Taurus is made from a transparent frosted polycarbonate material with silicone and hard plastic edges. It has a dual aluminum alloy stand on the back for multiple viewing angles. It has a camera cutout for speaker's power and a notch positioned at the top of the Apple Pencil. There are bezeled edges along the front of the stand that hold the iPad in place and there is a hard matte plastic at the very top that holds the Apple Pencil in place, allowing for a seamless charging when you put it in position. So when I'm using the iPad, if you have an iPad, you know. It's frustrating because they didn't create anything with the iPad or the Magic Keyboard itself to hold that Apple Pencil to the iPad. It can be pretty stressful when you're taking it on the go, even using it around the house, I'm very careful with the iPad. In fact, I keep it in a case because I don't wanna lose that Apple Pencil. I don't wanna to have to search for it. I just don't want those problems. When I opened this up from Taurus, I wasn't super impressed with the way that it looked. I mean, it reminds me of an iPhone case. Now this specific case is made for the iPad 2024 in the 13 inch and it's also compatible with the 2022 and the 2021 12.9 inch iPad Pro. When I actually take the iPad and put it in this case, it just feels secure. There's like a extra edge around the border of this that secures on top of the actual iPad. When I'm using this and when I have it in hand, I don't know, it's something about the texture of this it feels like it's not going anywhere. I don't feel like I'm gonna drop this very easily. When it's in my hand, I, I feel like I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything falling, anything uh, being loose in the case. It feels very secure. And just make sure that you get the exact size if you're thinking about getting one of these because they do make them in the 11 inch as well. It feels so comfortable having this on here that I really don't wanna take the iPad out of this. The surface of this case feels like a hard plastic. I rarely use my iPad without a case, and if you are taking your iPad on the go or even using it around the house, having an Apple Pencil hanging off of it is always something that can be a little stressful. Not knowing if at any time you can just flick it off and lose it under the couch. If you're using the iPad for work, even drawing or note taking, you're gonna really feel it level up when you get some type of case to protect that Apple Pencil. I'm pretty rough with my tech, so I want something that I don't have to worry about it being damaged. And having a case that has 12 foot drop protection of any form, any type of drop protection, and also securing that Apple Pencil in place is a win for me. I was surprised by this case, honestly. I didn't think that it was gonna be spectacular. I didn't think it was gonna be, I didn't think it was gonna be phenomenal and really outstanding, but when I put the iPad in here, I don't want to take it out. I want this to be the iPad. You know, I feel like the iPad should come with this on it or a case like this because it secures the Apple Pencil nicely. And there's been other cases that I've used where the Apple Pencil is at the top, but it's kind of loose and you can still flick it off. This has a little cutout at the top so that you can get to it. But when it's in there, it's secure and you're not really thinking about it at all. There's really no way you can knock it off here. And I really like that. Some cases will have an extra strap that you have to strap it around. And I was fine with that before, but seeing this design, I do like that it is fastened in there. It really holds the Apple Pencil in place like this. And it's also charging it at the same time. You're supposed to be able to use this in horizontal and vertical mode for drawing. And you can see on the back, it has this arm here in the back that will support it for that vertical viewing angle. One thing that I found when I started to draw, it's a little bit more difficult to get that same stability as you get horizontally. Like for example, if I start drawing here, you can see, I mean, this is me tapping it'll start to move it. So you're gonna have to hold it in place as you draw just to make sure that it is secure and as stable as possible. So just bear that in mind. The Taurus stand is shockproof and can withstand a 12 foot drop. I was surprised by how many angles I was able to place this iPad in, in this stand. With the minimal dual stand design visually, I just thought that there wouldn't be many, but you can almost do about any angle here, which is nice. The volume buttons are easy to press. Sometimes with cases like this, when they have a button on top of your volume button, 
built into the case. It can be a little bit harder to press the volume, but that's not a problem here at all. The actual power button doesn't have any button overlaying it, so you're able to access the power button as you would normally access it. When you put your iPad into this case, the thing that I liked about it is everything feels very secured. The iPad is being hugged by those silicone edges of this case, and the Apple Pencil is in that hard plastic. It's locked in. There's really no way to knock it out, which is nice. You can put this case in portrait mode, but the unfortunate thing is that you cannot draw or take notes in that mode. It will immediately topple this over. I wish they would have had some type of additional arm to support it or some type of mechanism here where you could continue to draw in portrait mode. If you were doing portraits, for example, uh, I like to do portraits a lot, so it would have been nice to have this stand be able to do that without me having to take the iPad out of this and put it into something else that could do that. If you have an iPad, especially without a case, you know that there's some hesitation with using it on the go or even around the house because that Apple Pencil is just hanging on the top of it. So it's always nice to experiment with different cases that may add protection if you happen to drop it and also keep that Apple Pencil connected to your iPad. I rarely use the iPad without a case, even around the home. I don't like holding the iPad and I always want it on a table or in my lap or something like that. And even when I have the Apple Pencil attached, I'm worried about it falling, hitting the ground and the iPad itself hitting the ground and being destroyed. I know that's probably not the reality, but that is something that goes through my mind. So always adding a case to it has been a uh, breath of fresh air for when I'm using the iPad. And I think this case provides a lot of solutions to some of the problems if you're using the iPad without a case, if you wanna take the iPad on the go as well. I personally never lost my Apple Pencil, but I know if I did, spending an extra $100 would be frustrating on an Apple Pencil. So cases like this really ensure that that Apple Pencil is being charged as well as is still connected. 